Hello, 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 Journey friends. It's Andrea, and I am back to share a few journaling tips with you. As you know, I am on a journey to lose 100 pounds, and honestly, journaling has been a key part of losing the weight pretty effortlessly, and I would even say enjoyably. So check out my tips on journaling. All right, guys, so <laughs> if you did a collective sigh uh, after that intro, like, I get it, I feel you. A lot of people are resistant to journaling. It's not fun, they don't like doing it, and I think that a lot of that comes from just uh, really allowing our brains to be on autopilot a lot of the times and the thoughts that come up in our heads, we just generally accept as truth and we move on. But I am here to tell you that a lot of your, a lot of the reason you're not successful in your weight loss is probably due to some limiting beliefs that you hold on a subconscious level. And journaling is an amazing way to really dive in and figure out what those thoughts might be and how you want to go forward in thinking about yourself and your success on your weight loss journey. So journaling is pretty amazing because like I said, if you're anything like me, I am a mom of four kids and I have a thousand million whatever thoughts a day, right? Like as soon as one pops in, another one's coming in, the other one goes out. Like I don't even know what I thought five seconds ago, right? So in journaling, taking that like pen and paper and writing down what you are thinking really helps you to slow down your thoughts so that you can take a look at them, examine them, and figure out like, is that something I really want to be thinking? Is that helpful to me on my journey? Or could something else be true here? So it really does help you to do a deeper dive on what you are thinking and, and allows you to be more intentional in your thoughts going forward. So I'm going to give you about, um, I guess, four journal prompts for, well, four different categories. So the first one that journaling can really help you with is identifying roadblocks on your weight loss journey. So one of the ways that I think it's really helpful is to reflect on your past weight loss adventures. Honestly, like who hasn't tried to lose weight more than once? So we've got some data there that we can really go back and look at. So the first journal prompt for your roadblocks is, how have I been derailed from weight loss in the past? And how can I overcome it this time? Another journal prompt would be, what other reasons besides hunger do I choose to eat? That's a big one. For me, having a stressful day, not taking care of myself emotionally throughout the day, it builds and builds and builds until the end of the day. And it's like, I just want some feel good in my day because my whole day felt terrible, you know? Um, so that was really enlightening for me to kind of unearth that and go, all right, well, I need to, you know, schedule like midday walks and a cup of tea in the afternoon to try and rejuvenate myself. Another one, another journaling prompt for roadblocks would be, what beliefs do I have about myself that has prevented me from reaching my goal in the past? So again, this is something to kind of take a deeper dive into, and you may have your brain throwing up the, I don't know, why haven't I don't know, you know? Don't let yourself stop there. Like, if you need to be a little bit extreme about it, you could be like, all right, like if somebody was here with a machete to chop off my hand, if I didn't come up with an answer, what would I say, right? Like, don't allow yourself the out of just going, I don't know, like, try to dig a little bit deeper. Try to come up with something that would be your best guess. And then think about it. Like, does it fit? Does it make sense? Uh, the last one for identifying your roadblocks would be, when do I feel the least motivated? I think motivation is one of the things that comes and goes on your weight loss journey. 
And if you can already identify the times when you start to feel less motivated, that is your perfect opportunity to make a game plan on how you will get back on track or, you know, do it anyways. Um, so that is really good information to have. The second category of journal prompts is creating your solutions. So for this, I love the question of how can I make weight loss easy? Sometimes we get stuck into this feeling of weight loss is really hard. It's all about restriction and deprivation and all this kind of stuff. What if it was easy? Journal that. Get, get yourself thinking and focused on how you can make it easy for yourself. Even if it's just today or just at this meal, how could you make it easy? Another journal prompt would be, what can I do to emotionally recharge myself? If you find that you are often eating um, because of how you are emotionally feeling, stress, angry, sad, whatever it is, that's a great one to find some solutions on what you can do to actually nourish yourself emotionally recharge so that you're not, you know, going to the pantry for the cookies and the chips. I also love the other one um, about how do I connect with others without food? A lot of times our family gatherings and things like that, birthday parties, um, and, you know, weddings, all of this, a lot of it's centered around food. So really kind of giving yourself information on, you know, how is it possible to connect with people without food will give your brain um, ideas on how to do that at your next family function so that you're not left feeling like you're left out because you're not just eating the food because you already know how to connect with those others at that party. All right, so then the next, uh, the final one on creating solutions is what is one good decision I can always make for myself? Weight loss isn't going to be linear. You're going to have good days, bad days, in between days, all of them. And I love thinking about what is one thing I can always do for myself no matter what, so that if I am having a particularly bad day, if I went face down in brownies, cookies, candies, ice cream, you know, for 30 minutes and feel like my day's a bust, like what is one other thing that I could do to just feel like, okay, but now I've started the ball rolling in the right direction. Now I am back on track. You know, it could be as simple as like, you know, drinking a glass of water, going for a five minute walk. You know, you could try and list as many as you could, you know, um, so that you always have that available for you to reflect on in case that day does happen. So number three is creating instructions for your brain. Like journaling is really, really great for thinking through um, like how you want to do weight loss and creating those instructions for your brain so that it feels like, oh yeah, I already know what we're doing here. We just execute now. So the first one is creating the instruction for your brain of being successful. And you could journal the following sentence. I know I will be successful at weight loss because, and come up with as many reasons as you can. This could be uh, things that you were successful in the past about. This could be personality traits that you have. Maybe you're like a super organized person and um, you'll always be able to find the time to, to do your workout and to um, you know maybe track your calories and things like that. Maybe you're good at work asking for help and leaning on others for emotional support or um, asking for babysitting so you can work out like you know sky's the limit on this but coming up with all those reasons really sets into your brain like I'm going to be successful at this here's why um, other instructions for your brain um, and a really good way to um, keep trying new things are to list 20 things that you are willing to do or try to lose your weight Guys, I have often told my weight loss clients that this is an experiment in you. 
You're going to try some things and you're going to get the results you want. You're going to try other things and you're not going to get the result you were looking for. And that's okay. We don't have to judge it. We don't have to shame ourselves for trying it. It's about what do you want to try next? What do you want to do next? And so having this list is a really great way to already have it there. The work's already done for you. Just go to the next one on the list. Um, So I think that's an amazing thing to journal as well as the next one would be journaling 20 reasons why this is important. I actually did this, you you know, people call this finding your why, right? And I did this activity for myself. I actually did 100 reasons why this was important. And some of them were kind of, you know, silly and fun. Um, Others were more meaningful. Um, They were about, you know, being an example for my kids or living longer and being around for them, um, things like that. So you could really run the gamut of reasons why this is important to you. I think 20 is a good number to um, start with, but you do what you want with it. But then after I did my 100, I took the top 20 and then every day for 20 days, I journaled about one each day. So a full like page Um, just about why that particular reason was so important and how it would change my life and how I would feel once I had attained that. So that is a really, really great way to kind of create that relationship with your reasons why you're doing this and to really feel it more deeply in your soul. Um, The final one about creating instructions for your brain would be to write about the ideal day your future version of yourself goes through when she's at goal weight. So I love this. It's a visualization activity to kind of think about like, how does that person go through the day? What kinds of things does she do? Um, How does she feel? How does she interact with her husband? How does she interact with her kids? How does she enjoy moving her body? Like really go into the details of that ideal day of you at goal weight. Um, And you can reflect on that um, and look at those details and see if you can incorporate one today Um, because it's all about trying to become that future version of you today. All right, so the fourth reason why journaling is so amazing and another uh, way to use it is to create that motivation and inspiration for yourself. So the first uh, journal prompt that I would give to you would be, what excites me most about this journey? Um, You know, you need to have something that gets you excited. Some of those reasons why that you journaled about before could be some of those reasons that it excites you. Um, But really like creating that feeling of excitement by writing about, um, you know, what you're going to be able to do on this journey and what you'll be able to accomplish. Um, The next one uh, kind of goes along with this, um, but writing about five non-scale victories that you're really excited to have. So I think, you know, it's kind of a standard that we all look to the scale to see whether or not we are doing weight loss right. But the scale is not always going to tell you what you want to hear, right? It's not always going to have the number that you want to see, um, and that's going to make you feel some sort of a way. So you need to have other non-scale victories lined up and ready that you are also looking forward to. So, you know, non-scale victories could be fitting into a certain uh, dress size. It could be um, lifting a certain weight, maybe bench pressing a certain weight. It could be um, you know, getting a certain number of checks on your habit tracker or, um, being consistent with exercise for 30 days or something like that, you know, something, uh, non-scale, um, that you are in control of whether or not you achieve. Um, I think that those are really great to, um, keep you motivated and looking forward to making progress on your journey. The next one for creating that motivation is to write a letter from your future self. I find this one to be really powerful. So again, your future self is somebody who has already achieved the goal and they are writing a letter to you for encouragement, 
and advice right along your journey and i think this is a really powerful one um, in the way of you know you can reflect on it often when you are feeling low like read it to yourself again and just know that that future version of yourself is cheering you on so much um, and she wants you to continue on and to make that future version of you a reality and the final one that I will leave you with today um, is kind of along the same lines of that future version of you um, but to make a list of I am affirmations and then figuring out how you can live into those today. So thinking of your future self, who is she, right? But you wanna speak about it in current tense. So I am strong, I am determined, I am hopeful and happy, I am comfortable in my body. And then you would figure out, journal out about, like, how can I embody that today? How can I be determined today? Well, I'm going to be determined by following my food plan, by getting my exercise done. How am I going to be hopeful? I'm going to be hopeful today that as I complete my, you know, workout today, that I'll be one step closer to goal. So just kind of thinking about those um, and embodying your future self today. So um, again, guys, like I said, I am on a journey to lose 100 pounds. I'm currently 72 pounds down in journaling. I do it every morning, you guys. It has helped me so much um, kind of, you know, bring to light some of the errors in my thinking um, and also to help me, you know, figure out what I need to do going forward and how I can create my own motivation and feel good on this journey. So I hope you found this uh, video helpful, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you found one of these prompts uh, to be helpful to you. I would love it if you would comment down below and tell me which one really spoke to you. Or if you have a journal prompt that you would like to share with me, I would love love, love to hear it. So go ahead and subscribe if you would like more videos of the like this. And I will see you guys next time on the journey. Bye-bye.